In the late 19th century, a brilliant surgeon, John Harvey Kellogg, pioneered a new model in healthcare facilities with his Battle Creek Sanitarium. People were getting fresh air, sunlight, patients who were taking walks, and he understood the benefit of the natural healing effects that were available in the environment, coupled the best of science with the best of what we can get naturally, and really did something that revolutionized care in his day. Kellogg was a Seventh-day Adventist, and he based his initial approach on the writings of one of the early church leaders, Ellen White. White's prescription for health care called for fresh air, hydrotherapy, exercise, and the proper diet. At the start of the 20th century, with Ellen White's direction, Adventists began opening health care facilities across the country. They decided one was needed in a rural area close to the nation's capital. In 1907, the Adventists opened the Washington Sanitarium. In the sanitarium back 100 years ago, the focus was a little different. It was more about the outdoors, health and wellness, getting away from the busy city of D.C. It was about rest and relaxation. In fact, the average length of stay for a patient in 1907, when the hospital opened, was about six weeks. Today, Washington Sanitarium is now Washington Adventist Hospital. It's on the forefront of technology and medical care, yet it still promotes healthy living that has helped to make the Seventh-day Adventists some of the healthiest people on Earth. But one difference is that today the hospital's location in Tacoma Park, Maryland, is far from rural. It's one of the busiest and most multicultural communities in America. Not only in race and ethnicity, but countries of origin, languages that people speak. Like currently, we have over 60 different languages that are being requested uh, from our patient population for interpreting. We have just about that many or more countries that we serve. If you want on the emergency. Side, you still get a priority. Providing emergency care to a multicultural community is an enormous challenge. Marcos Pasquera heads the Office for Health Disparities at Washington Adventist. By training hospital staff already proficient in a foreign language, how to interpret in a hospital setting, he helps assure everyone, regardless of culture, has equal access to health care. So he doesn't have any diabetes symptoms. How do you better communicate with our different patient populations that might be different than you? You know, we have the Western style of medicine, but they might be coming in with different ideas. What is the goal here? To promote the patient and the provider or the physician and patient relationship, okay? And that's what we're, uh, we're here to do. Many patients come from a culture where a person only thinks about health care in an emergency with little thought for prevention. So the Adventists, in partnership with local health care interests, reach out regularly into the community with important advice. Today, they are at a local Vietnamese church. If you're 40 years of age or older, we have free mammograms. What I'm doing here today is just talking to individuals about different cancer programs that we have in the community to get as many people into cancer screenings as possible. And then okay. just turn it right into me. Thank you very You're much. welcome. Thank you. The most satisfying part is just, even if it's one person who can look me in the eye and say, you know, thank you very much for being here, which is just the, what just happened just now with this patient. To me, it just makes me know that I'm making a difference. Our greatest measure of success has been to communicate, to remove those barriers, as well as to, uh, to connect with individuals at a, at a level that will improve and inspire that trust. Great job, guys. Thank you. Thank you.